Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video featuring your boy Pinhead, the Cenobite, whatever you want to call it, Hella Razor. Today we are playing as him. We are having a spicy build setup going on here. We are still learning this killer. We are still trying out different builds. I enjoy him so far. You know, this is coming from a spirit main in which I just play nothing but spirit half the time. So playing somebody like Pinhead is a lot, a lot more fun and very, very rewarding. But it's more so like, I feel like he has to do a lot sometimes to down a survivor. You know what I mean? Like inside chase versus like, you know, nurse or spear or bubba, that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Whereas they're insta downs or it's super easy to catch survivors. It's very easy to catch with Pinhead when you land your ability, when you land, uh, you know, your power. That way you can get a chain, chain going on the survivor and what have you. And you can catch up to him, all that sort of thing. But the, but his skills, they come out very, very quickly. You know what I mean? So if you're not ready to turn, you're not ready to aim properly, you will miss it and you just whiff the ability, which happens a lot of the time. But at the same time, it's a very, very strong power, I think. And I think him as a killer right now is actually really, really good. But I think he's a very, very difficult killer to play overall. And it will take a lot of getting used to, especially when you come from more simplistic killers. But at the same time, still, here I am playing him versus Spirit sometimes. I really enjoy him, especially when survivors have no idea how to play against him or what to do. It's a little bit interesting. He has a lot to his kit. Hopefully we can get a chain hunt started here, actually. Oh, nice. Get another down survivor here. It looks like we're going to play around this one hook all game, it seems. Ooh, grab her too. Nice. Looks like the other one got up, which is unfortunate. Maybe she had Unbreakable is my guess. Oh, wrong way for you, girly. We're just gonna go ahead and get her out of here. I don't know why she has a crow. She was playing the game majority of the time anyhow. That's weird. Maybe she's sitting in the locker is my guess. Not sure. But the other one picked herself up. So she might have Unbreakable, but it is what it is. I could be wrong. Either way, we can get her on this hook right here. Ooh, is that a flashlight? That's way too far away, girl, to be useful. Nice. We almost got a chain hunt going on here. We'll get there. See if I can tag her right quick. Darn it. See? Just whiffed it. We're going to play back on this hook a little bit because they haven't gotten the first... There it is. There's the first gen pop. I got so much pressure before even the first gen even came down, which is great. I saw scratch marks over there by the tree. We're just going to take a double back right quick just to make sure. Okay, cool. Just trying to open my box and draw my attention. I really don't want to go over there right now. If she solves this, all of my chains will end, which is unfortunate. That's fine. We were close to getting the chain hunt going on. It's all good. Can you get a tag? Nice job. So thankfully, with his power, as long as the survivor has a chain attached to them, that survivor cannot do actions. They're unable to vault windows, vault pallets, all that sort of thing. And eventually, it'll be one chain, then another chain, then another chain. And you have to break all of these chains in order to, you know, become free. And what those chains allow you to do as a killer is catch up to them, because it slows them down. But the environment, you as the killer, uh, another survivor, they can walk into the chains and break them. So you got to be very, very mindful about the environment as a survivor. And once you become chained, okay. Ooh. let's get that nice snatch over there. There's no reason for me to go over here to Shaq. I don't like playing at Shaq when it comes to Pinhead. I feel like I'm wasting too much time over there when I could just be on the survivor. If you're going to run for me and go to Shaq, it is what it is. I'll just move on and grab somebody else here. Especially when I have so much pressure because I still have Ruin Up and Scourge Pain hooks right now. In which you're really about to do this in front of me. Cool. Tag you as well. The other one can, the other one can go free. It's all good. Hopefully we can get a quick down here. Nice. Cool. Thus she had dead hard, but I guess not. There was a second gen. But anyway, his his perk, what it allows us to do is Scourge Hook spawn on the map, right? In which if you hook a survivor on the Scourge Hook, they become mangled and hemorrhaging. Which means it becomes a lot harder for them to heal themselves completely, which for me, I'm cool with that. That's just easy downs, right? Essentially. I thought she was over here, but I must, I must have missed her. That's all good. She's here, though, so I'm cool with this. She's the only one with the med kit, it looks like. Which, eventually, she's going to run out of, I'd assume. Cool. 
Okay, that first free tag, she's, I'm gonna be able to cut her off right here. She, she was not paying attention. Can I, uh, I don't know if I can hit her here. Nice, let's go, baby. Easy. One more hook, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, let's go. You're down. Go ahead and slug her here for a little while. Leave that one on the hook. Cause I saw the other survivor as I was chasing her. A small glimpse. There she goes. Nice. Down as well. Let's go. We got two down here. We have one on hook. One survivor left. Where's she at though? It's like the amount of pressure that Pinhead can actually do when a survivor is doesn't know how to play against you. Like she's literally, they were literally just kept opening my box for some reason. Like I, I get it. I understand the concept of the box, but at the same time, bro, you can open that box. I don't care. Like I have all your friends over here. I'm not going to go after you. Now in this situation here, I think I did just make that misplay. I, I should have probably teleported over to her from the box. You know what I mean? Considering she was the only survivor that was up. Because who is to say she doesn't come over here and just tries to find Hatch? Implying that she doesn't come down and try to unhook, so... Let's see. Let's see what she does here. Oh, there she goes right there. Scratch marks coming down. I see you. What you gonna do here? In front of me yet again. Cool. This may be a little bit of a problem because she has wiggle room now. Oh, never mind. We're golden. See ya. Nice. No borrow time for their, any of them, actually, which is relatively really good for me. We're gonna grab her first. I gave her a little bit of wiggle room. Might as well hook her on this hook that's nearest to her. That way she has no chance of getting away. Sweet. I think this is a wash, guys. I think this game's over. Which I'm not gonna complain about. Either way, man, this has been paused for this. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Penhead, though. I think he's actually, like I said, a relatively very challenging as a killer. But I kind of want to play him more, and I really enjoy his playstyle. I, I just think he takes a lot more to get rolling. Especially when you're playing against smart teams, or teams that actually know how to deal with you. Which is far in between, depending on the time of day you're playing DVD, you know what I mean? Because sometimes the sweats come out, or sometimes you actually get, get into a group with a good survivor team. And they know what they're doing, you know what I mean? I think he's one of those killers that require time investment to actually perform well with him. Whereas this is coming from a spirit main, so I mean, this is pre nerf spirit, and up until now I still play spirit a lot. So there's, I've, I've learned a lot, but either way, this has been Paul's Play. Smash that like button, come join that Discord, and tell me I suck. It is what it is. I'll catch you guys later. I'm out.